Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the Nick Finance Niger channel. Now, if you are a Nigerian staying anywhere in the world, whether Canada, Australia, US, UK, Mongolia, China, wherever you are in the world, and you are thinking of investing in Nigeria and you want a safe investment, one of those investments will be the Nigerian government bond or treasury bill now i'll walk you through what you can do the steps involved and how you can actually get 12 percent as it stands today investing in an fgn bond in nigeria okay but first an introduction my name is nick i'm a finance guy and i talk to nigerians both in nigeria and across the world I basically try to break down financial concepts in a way that Nigerians can appreciate and understand it so that they can better their personal finances. If that sounds like something good to you, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button and also like this video so that this can get to much more Nigerians in diaspora, as they say it. All right, so let's get into the video. First off, guys, if you check the US bond rate as at today, the 10 year is 2.047 percent that means if you are investing in the u.s market or you're buying u.s treasury bonds the yield you'll be getting is around two percent okay however if you are investing in nigeria the yield you'll be getting on a 10-year bond slightly above 10 years is about 12.35 percent as at now so think about it invest in u.s two percent invest in nigeria 12.35 percent now there's obviously the risk of exchange rate and all that and i understand that but i'm a proponent for diversification not putting your eggs in one basket so nigerian bonds are definitely an area you may want to consider okay now let me tell you why i see an opportunity at this time it's no news that the fed is going to raise rates okay now usually when that happens when the fed raises its rates a lot of foreign investors are going to sell Nigerian bonds and start buying US bonds because this 2% might go to 2.5, might go to 2.75. So a lot of foreign investors that hold Nigerian bonds are going to sell those bonds potentially and start buying US bonds. Now, when Nigerians or whoever it is, foreign portfolios start selling Nigerian bonds, guys, listen to me, these yields can potentially go up to like 13% or even 14% because the more people sell the more the price goes down and the more the yield goes up I don't want to get into technicalities but just take it that the moment you start seeing people selling there's a huge opportunity to get at least 12% thereabouts on these bonds so the question to ask is how do you invest in Nigerian FGN bonds very simple. So there are two ways. Number one is the primary market and number two is the secondary market. Let me not get into too much technicalities. For the primary market, you are filling a form to buy the bonds directly. You are the first buyer of that particular bond, so to say. But for the secondary market, you are not filling any form. You are just going to the secondary dealers and buying it off somebody else that has bought. For example, Mr. A has bought the bond two years ago, but now he wants to relocate and he wants to sell his bonds. So when you go to buy Mr. A's bond, you are buying it in the secondary debt market. That is just what this is, okay? So basically what I, what I do personally is I don't really do primary markets because it's a bit onerous, it's challenging. I love the secondary market because it's more straightforward for me, okay? Now, how do you buy in the secondary market, which is what I want to show you guys in this video? All right, before we get into that, let me explain the minimum now because it's quite high. Know that the minimum you can invest is 50 million Naira. And thereafter, you can invest in lots of 1,000 Naira. So minimum, 50 million Naira, okay? That's one point to note. Number two, interest is paid semi-annually. So either June and December, uh, maybe January and July and all that, okay? Now, the good thing is the interest paid on FGM bonds are not subject to tax. Nobody will tax you because it's government bond. It's not a company's bond. It's government bond. So this 12% I'm saying that can potentially go up to 13 or whatever percent, you will get it fully without tax. That's another point to note because it's an FGM bond. Okay, so with all that said now, Nick, today is, you know, whatever day in February 2022. How do I buy these bonds? Number one, you have to have an account with a Nigerian bank. Okay, a Nigerian bank. 
For me, I prefer using Stambik and Zenit. That's my personal choice. But you must have an account with a Nigerian bank, okay? And usually, I'll advise that you have two accounts, a Naira account and a dollar account. Why two accounts? Now, some of you have money in dollars, but you can't buy this bond in dollars. For dollars, you will need to talk about euro bonds, which is another video. Let me know in the comment section if you would like me to do another video explaining how you can buy Nigerian euro bonds, okay? Because that's another area I know very well. So drop in the comments if you want to know about Nigerian euro bonds. Currently, those ones are earning between 7 to 8% in dollars. You don't need to convert to Naira or anything. You just bring in dollars and buy those bonds and go to bed, earning 7% thereabouts. Okay, let me know in the comment section. Now back to the Naira bond we are talking about. So two accounts, a Naira account and a dollar account. Now why the dollar account? So that when you do a transfer into that your dollar account, you change it to Naira and fund your Naira account. It's from that Naira account that you'll be debited for this 50 million or whatever amount you use to buy the bonds. Okay, so you can see the banks play a key role here, a bank account, a savings or current account, whatever it is, but make it Naira and dollar. Now, when you've decided to open the account and you've opened the account, what's the next step? You call your bank and find out what rates are applicable. Guys, be very careful there. Some of the banks might know that the rates are between 12 and 13 and they can start offering you 11. Okay, they, I mean, they'll basically want to make as much money as possible legitimately so it's based on your knowledge if you don't know you will tend to lose in terms of buying high interest bonds okay so you have to know your stuff that okay i am aware that this thing is 12.35 if you are giving me 10 it's off no you can't give me 10 you probably give me like 12 or 12.1 it's a negotiation game okay so that's that you call your bank you find out how much they are paying you the rates that you'll be getting. Then after that, when the deal is done, you've been debited and everything, you must ask for a deal slip because that's an evidence that they have actually sold you that bond. Ask for a deal slip and file it for future purposes. Now, after that is done, every six months, after every six months, your coupon will be paid into your account, all right, semi-annually, like I said earlier. Okay, now one last thing to note before I um, conclude this video is this. Some of you might be looking for actual amounts. So Nick, how does it play out? So let me play a scenario for you guys. Now imagine a Nigerian in South Korea decides that he wants to buy a 50 million Naira bond. Okay, she wants to buy a 50 million Naira bond. And currently that bond is having a coupon or interest of 12.15%. It means that every year, the interest that Nigeria will be getting is 6,074,650. But remember, I told you they pay twice a year. So that means the person will get 3,037,325 every six months, which comes to this every year. Now, if you take that exchange, if you take the exchange rate of 576, it means the USD equivalent that the person will be getting every year comes to $10,546.27. Now compare that to say a Nigerian in US that is just buying only US bonds, okay? That Nigerian will be investing the Naira equivalent, the dollar equivalent, I converted this at 576, at 2.04%. Remember, in Nigeria, you are getting 12.15, in US, you are getting 2.04. That Nigerian will be getting 1770.83 in total annual interest, and 885 in semi-annual interest because the US bonds, I believe, also pay coupons twice a year. So let's do the comparison. The Nigerian that buys Nigerian bond will be getting $10,000 US equivalent. The Nigerian that buys US bond will be getting $1,770.83, which means the Nigerian will be making six times what the other Nigerian that is buying the US bond is making, okay? I just thought to put this number so that you can see how it is. Now, there's the argument that no, the exchange rate might go worse. But now, let's even do a sensitivity analysis. Let's imagine that the exchange rate goes very bad and it hits 1,000 Naira per dollar. You see that it's still better to have the Naira bond because you'll be getting an equivalent of $6,074.65, which is still 3.4 times the $1,770.83 that a US bond will be offering. 
So by and large, for Nigerians that probably have like Naira obligations, you still have things you do in Naira and you want to diversify into safe investments in Naira, what I would do personally is this. Again, these are not financial advices. This is just my personal opinion, what I would do. I will not go into real estate. I will not go into all those different things. I will just invest in a Nigerian bond that will pay me at least 12%. I don't need to track anything. I don't need to check anything. Every six months, my coupon comes to me. All right, so that's that about that. Now, the last thing you will do again is to let me know in the comment section which aspect of this is not clear to you so that I can clarify for that. And if you would want me to do another video on Eurobond, also let me know as well. Okay, with that said, don't forget, I'm Nick, I talk finance and I talk to Nigerians all across the world. If you like the video, like it. And if you want to join this train of Nigerians getting acquainted with simple financial concepts broken down on this channel, then subscribe to the channel. We will welcome you with very open arms, right? All right. So with that said, thank you very much for listening and hope you gained something. And hopefully again, I will see you guys in the very next video. Cheers.